Hello, uh, welcome to uh, Lisa Stratton's Talk to Me series of interviews. Today, I'll be talking with Elnor Stewart from the Down Syndrome Research Foundation. So, uh, what type of experience do you have as a teacher? Oh, um, I have been teaching for about nine years. Um, I started. I first started teaching in Montreal. Uh, that's where I did my teaching college, and I, um, yeah, I taught in kindergarten, grade two, grade four, and grade seven. That's cool. Uh, so, what? Uh, oh, how how did you get interested in working with students with a, with diverse abilities? Oh, good question. Um, I think one time I was teaching in a grade two class and this classroom had eight children who all had really, really severe learning disabilities and there was no support for them. No one had any help um, and I just saw how much they struggled and it, I met the resource teacher that worked there and she was really inspiring and she kind of showed me a lot of new techniques and talked about how important that job was to work with students who had disabilities and had learning challenges. It sounds really inspiring. It was. She was really to know inspiring. that. Uh, so, uh, here at the Down Syndrome Research Foundation, what do your students learn from you? Well, I try to teach them a lot of things. First and foremost, I think it's I try to teach them the importance of being. Um, just kind and independent individuals and remembering that remembering what they can do on their own and that you don't always need to have support and help to do everything because I think sometimes we learn to kind of rely on people too much so I try to remember to remind them that, that they are their own individuals and that they can do a lot on their own have confidence. It, it is important to have all that confidence and to be important as well. Yeah. Uh, so are there any things that your students, what they have learned from you? Yeah, I think we focus on, um, well, first of all, reading skills, making sure that you can read independently when you're out in the community so you can find your way around and not get lost. Mm -hmm. um, and we work a lot on social skills, so how to make a good impression how to have good conversations, how to make friends and keep friends, and then that all kind of ties into how to get a job and find employment. Well, that's a, that's a really good thing to know. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you learn from your students who work with you? That's a really good question, Lisa. Um, a few things. I've learned that it's really important to take breaks during a busy day and just kind of laugh, have a, you know, enjoy the moment for a second. I've also learned that sometimes when you're learning things, it's okay to take a bit of extra time to learn that new skill. Because if you put that work into it initially, then you're gonna have that skill for the rest of your life. And it's okay to take a bit of time to learn that. And what sort of skills and challenges would they have if you're constantly helping them with their independence work? Mm -hmm. Well, I think one of the biggest challenges would be that sometimes some of our learners just they need to repeat a skill a few more times before they have it, right? Before they, it's in their long-term memory. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. So just making sure that they get lots of time to practice a skill. It's always uh, important to remember to learn how to do that anyway. Yeah, exactly. And I think one other thing I've learned is that, yeah, I guess it goes along with what we were just saying, but that it's, it's really important to give yourself time. And maybe that's time to laugh, it's time to learn a new skill, maybe mm -hmm. it's time to relax, time to share a story about your day. But all those things about having interactions with people, I think that's really important. Uh, so, uh, m m March 21st was D D World Down Syndrome Day, and people wanted to know why you, do you think why World Down Syndrome Day is so important to you? Good question. I think it's important to me because I think there's a lot of people out there that don't know about Down Syndrome. They don't know a lot of people with Down Syndrome. Um, and I think a lot of people 
kind of underestimate what individuals with Down syndrome can accomplish and can do. So I think it's an important day to remind people or to educate people about Down syndrome and to remind people that people with Down syndrome can accomplish a lot in their life. Well, that's really good to know. Uh, do you think that what you're doing here uh, can help your students to get jobs? Yeah, I think kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like, I think if we can teach a lot of teach our students here some of those what they call soft skills. So, how to make a good impression, how to build relationships and keep relationships, how to yeah, how to work independent, how to work independently and start tasks on your own. I think all of those skills are really important in getting a job. But that's good to know. I. Uh, can you share any future plans or that some of your students may have? Hmm. Yeah, one of my students um, just got a job at the casino, one of the new at the new Edgewater Casino. So he's going to be starting a job there. And I have another student who um, is really interested in working with children. So she's. She's taking a course at Douglas College, and she's um, yeah working towards trying to find a job where she can work with young children. And can you uh, share any of your main highlights that you enjoy about your job that you do here? Well, there's a lot, but I get to work with you, Lise. <laughs> that, that, that's because I work here on Mondays, but I want to know yeah. what you already know about your highlights. Yeah, I think, well first of all I get to laugh a lot, there's a lot of jokes that go on here. Mm -hmm. Music's a big part, I get to sing a lot, we get to listen to a lot of music. And then just watching people develop new skills and learn, and see them grow and become more mature. I think that's really that's a really exciting part of my job. And when you, and when you mentioned uh, the growth and being more mature, mm -hmm. what sort of independence were you looking for when you're working with your students? Well, for example, like a few of my students now, I've seen them grow and become mature, more mature, and they're able to take the bus here on their own. Some students now, I don't know, even just little things like. Sometimes I have a few students when they first started here, they just kind of walk in, they wouldn't say hi to anyone, but now when they walk in, they kind of, they seem more confident, they say good morning, they ask questions, they start conversations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good, really good thing to know. And so anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for your time and for, for everything that you do for us at the Down Center Research Foundation, and we hope that talk to you at some point sooner in the future. Thanks, Thank you so much for your time and we will definitely stay in touch. Good Thank questions. you. Thanks.